Hi, this is Chris Neitzer, and this is part two of the four-part series on the text editor. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Open Edit Pages module, and I'm going to choose a page to edit. I'm going to be editing my resume page again. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to insert images into the text editor. I'm just going to click on this box to go ahead and enter the text editor and start editing my text exactly where I left off in the last video. So to insert an image into the text editor, the first thing you want to do is choose a spot where you want the image to be placed. I'm going to place it right here before my name. And then to insert the image, I'm going to click on Insert Edit Image button. This brings up the Insert Edit Image menu. From here, you can choose to link to an external image if you like. Uh, that means linking to an image on somebody else's website as long as you have permission. You can choose from a list of images on your own website. I'm going to pick this image here. The next option that you have is to give it a description. Finally, you can title your image if you like. Once you've made all your changes, go ahead and click Insert, and your image is placed into the text editor. This image is a bit large though, so I'm going to scale it down a bit. To do this, click on the image, and now you can drag the borders of your image to the size that you want. There we go. Just like with the text, images are subject to justification and text wrapping as well. If I want to make this image all the way to the left, I can click the left justification button for this image, and now it's placed to the far left. You can also drag the image around. So if you want to place it somewhere else, say right here, just drag it to where you want it. If you want to make changes to the image properties after you've inserted the image onto the page, all you have to do is right click on the image and click on image properties in the context menu. And this brings up the insert edit image menu once again. You can change some of the appearance properties from here as well. I'm going to create a border around the image. This will create a little border to surround the image. I click update. And now my image has a nice little frame. So I'll go ahead and click update to commit to these changes. And let's preview the page to see how it looks on the site. And here's my image with the border placed exactly where I had it in the text editor. So that's it for inserting images into the text editor. In part three, I'll be discussing how to insert links into the text editor.